Now we're gonna discuss how to frame your basement. Now there's a lot of different situations going on downstairs. So you've got, uh, depending where you live, where we are, we're all concrete basement floors and then wood frame construction. Sometimes we have walls, we've got concrete and then wood combinations. There's always different building materials. Here we've got steel structure as well. So we have to be able to tie into that. So we have wood ceiling, we have steel frame, we have concrete floors. Some places we have our subfloor that we built. And once that's anchored to the floor, it's really simple. You can do a platform wall, which is basically, you just lay the boards down, measure, cut, screw it together, nail it together, stand it up, level it, square it, boom, stick it in place. The other option is you're going right on the concrete. Now, if you're going right on concrete, like in our district, building code requires we have a vapor barrier between the wood and the concrete so that it's not wicking the moisture out of the concrete. That's important, it will prevent premature rot. You don't want to build something that only lasts five years when it can last for 40. So, we have regular wood. And when it comes in contact with concrete, it will rot early. Wood is where you find the mold in your house. It's already in the wood. Well, this place on earth is the forest. What we're trying to do is make sure that the moisture content in our wood never gets above to a point where the mold starts to grow. So putting this in contact with concrete will cause it to go moldy. In our district, we are allowed to use a pressure treated lumber. And that's this stuff here. This is a Sienna Brown. It's not green. That's fine. It's the same stuff, different color. And we can go directly on the concrete with this with no plastic, no, you know, sill gasket, no wraps. We can just screw it right to the concrete floor. And we can do this in two ways. We can put it down first with our laser level, put a bottom plate and a top plate on the ceiling, and we can balloon frame in place. Because a lot of cases when you pour concrete, your floors are going all over the place for height. Or we can do a platform construction as well. Put the bottom, sill, bottom plate on, nail it together, stand it up. I generally like to do platform construction, keep all my framing about a half an inch shorter than my ceiling, and then we just shim and screw and nail in place as we need it. So we're going to cover both in this scenario. We're going to go on top of our wood with a platform made of regular wood. And then we're going to go on top of the concrete using one of these. And we'll try a couple of different framing techniques to kind of cover the bases. There's a lot of ways to do it right. It's got to find what works best for you. So this is a separation wall for our living room to a storage area. It's our mechanical room. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a platform frame, um, all spruce lumber. Don't need anything special because we have our subfloor with our vapor barrier and our, and, and our airspace underneath, this construction I consider to be a 40 year build. This wall is gonna be here years and years after anybody has bought and sold a few times. And what we do is we're gonna build it, stick it up in our hole, and then we're gonna use these bolts here. These are awesome, we're gonna pre-drill into the steel, and we're gonna attach our frame to the steel with screws instead of just glue or maybe some explosive ram set nails. Hold it flush. Make sure your wood's not twisted. Yeah, you buy this hammer with this claw, and if your wood is twisted, you can set it on the wood, and you can manipulate the wood even if you're working alone. That's why I bought it, because I find myself needing a second pair of hands sometimes in different situations. There we go. Now the way that we're gonna operate this for leveling, this is really simple. Cord's like the king of lasers. So he likes to build lasers and I love the system because he sets up a level line top and bottom. You just can't screw up. So all we gotta do is we know our top plate's gonna go level off of this because that's where the laser line is hitting. All right, sweet. Done, we got a wall. All right, so the way we're gonna fasten this to the steel, and you really have two options. You can use like a Remington impact nailer, uh, but if you make a mess there, then you gotta fight to pull it back out. This is a little simpler. We just pre-drill a hole, and then we're gonna set the self-tapping screw right into the steel. Done. 
All right, there we go. Done and done. If you're enjoying these videos, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, but most importantly, comment on the videos by all means or a suggestion of video you'd like to see, let us know. We'd love to be in touch.